Hey, what's up, guys? Boxing with B. Hey, Rob, I thought to paycheck. All right, you do it. Here we go, man. We had a good fight last time. Usyk versus Joshua. No, and no, I, no, but stick to your line. What did you say? Oh, I remember saying the that. The three lines. And the new oh, champion of the world, Usyk, like I called it. I told you guys he was going to beat Joshua, and he beat him to his game. Yeah, you know what? We didn't even do a boxing with B before. No. Nope. To mention it. We, we didn't get, share our thoughts, but I will say that you did. I'll, I'll validate it. You did say that Usyk was going to win. To me, you know, Joshua's a, a champion. Yeah. A lot of British are not going to like what I say. I think he's a paper champion. No jaw. Got, got, I, I think fighting, a lot of people would agree with you, though. Was fighting guys that are not up there. That he really thought Andy Reese was going to be a chump. And Andy Reese opened his eyes saying that chump always has a good, you know, never know. But Usyk's an all-around fighter, a boxer, a puncher, a move. Everything. A heavyweight Lomachenko, for example. That's exactly what I was saying. He's light on his feet. And you know what? One thing I want to point out is but on that fight week, I saw on social media, they were posting like, you know, Usyk dancing in the in the gym and stuff. And he was showing off all his moves. And I was yeah, like, oh, look at, look at Usyk. You, but that's what I'm saying. That's, what, that's you told, where you, you told, went you into told, it. You told me and said, oh, look, he's not training. He's dancing. I, oh, don't even go there. You said there. he's not training go, right. You no, said no, that. No, 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 no. Time he's out. Not training. Look at he's dancing. Time out. Time out. I did not say that. I said, look at he's dancing in there. He looks comfortable. That's what I said. I didn't say, no. oh, look, he's not training. He's, he's dancing. dancing. No, but I told everybody. No, don't try to pay no narrative. These guys from because whatever the Ukraine are smart fighters. They're dancers before they are boxers. No, they box. They Then they go into dancing. Then they go into boxing. I get what you're saying. I get you. Uh, and I'll give you credit because you did say. Look at that's his footwork in there. That's what he's doing. He's light on his feet. He's showing it off. He's showing it off. And that's what that he's he doing. Fought. He's practicing his little dance move. He's light on his feet. I think he's. So a, I'll he, give you that credit. But I want to clarify. I never said that. Oh, look at he's dancing. He's not. He's not working out. No, nice try though. No, nice that's what you said. Try, but you know though, what? I like. I told you guys. Guy. This guy was gonna do something, and he's gonna do something with the sport because he showed it that this, like Evander, he came up from a cruiserweight or a light heavyweight to a heavyweight champion. And you know what? To me. He's a great fighter because he was like Earl Spence. I think he could have took him out if he really wanted to. But instead, like he said. His With Usyk? Yeah. His trainer told him, just box him. I don't think so. I, oh, yeah. I, he heard I, him. No, no. I'm not saying that he couldn't have. I'm just saying like he was. It's not that he didn't want to finish. I think he was smart. And he was like, he knows he's still fighting a guy that's bigger than him. And if he was to take a power shot, because Joshua was throwing those haymakers well, just you know to what? try to I get think, something I back. I think Usyk could take those shots. He's, t he's fought a lot of heavy-handed fighters, and he took them. Yeah, he did. You know? And uh, he might have trouble with the other big champions, but I knew he was going to get this guy. And you know what? They're saying there's a rematch clause. What is he going to do? Yeah. He can't, he can't, he's not going to go out there and try to punch him. If Joshua goes out there and tries to do what he did with Andy Ruiz, I'm going at, in he there. Went, he, he went in. When mm -hmm. he lost to Andy Ruiz, he was from a puncher. He went into a boxing move. He started using his reach and boxing. Yeah. He but can't do that time, to Usyk. Usyk the, is a great fighter. He's a great, yes. like uh, Belarus. Be Belarus even said, this guy knows how to make you miss. And he takes the wind out of you. Because yeah. when you think he, he's in range, and you go for those haymakers, he's out of range. Yeah. So he knows how to use, he knows, he's an intelligent fighter. You know, he knows how to use his brain as well as his hands. But you know what? I'll, you gave, I think you gave Anthony Joshua more credit than deserved when you said he went back into that Andy Ruiz fight and he boxed and that's why he won. Yeah. Because it was a one-sided fight. Because, jo I mean, uh, Andy Ruiz made it that way. He didn't take that rematch serious. He went back in there, did whatever he wanted to do. And that's why it turned out that way. He didn't have that hunger that he had the first time around, you know? So that one, I wouldn't even validate as much. And this one, this one is, it's a, a fighter that has proved it to the world everywhere he's gone. He's gone out there and been like, okay, you, you're the champion. I'll challenge you. I'll challenge you. I'll challenge you. I'll take it. And, and he does. He did he it goes for in pride, there and does he said. It. He didn't do it for money. He did it for the belts. He did it for pride. And so for this one, if, if Joshua takes the rematch, Joshua's it's like Joshua lose. was already confident in that. Oh, well, whatever happens, there's a rematch. And he has said stuff like, sometimes you got to get, um, he said, you have to touch the stove and get burned in order to know it's hot or something or not, or to learn from it. He said something like that. Well, you I know saw what? it he, in the, in the uh, coverage. Everything he says, but, 
against Usyk. That is a fighter that if you're going to go in there and you're going to box because you think that that's going to help you, well, guess what? You're fighting a better boxer Technician that's light boxing. on his feet. That like he's not we said, stand there like the Andy heavyweight Reese. Lomachenko. He's not going to stand there like uh, Reese did. Yeah. You know, and where you're going to hit this guy. This guy's going to, he's not going to take it lightly. He's going to train round, again. From round one to 12, we saw the same movement from Usyk. He wasn't, he was light on his feet in round one and he was light on his feet in round 12. And Joshua, guess what? He didn't get tired. Oh my goodness. That, if you guys missed that fight, Anthony Joshua at the end looked like he wanted to pass out. Helping him back to his corner, him sitting there trying to gra like gasp for air. And then you see, you know, Usyk, in his corners, yeah, he would sit down in between rounds. And and this is the thing is that they were mentioning, the announcers were mentioning, like, you're the bigger fighter and you're getting up before the smaller fighter. Like, that makes the smaller fighter seem like he should be doing the same thing. Like, it's, it's kind of proving a point or the mental game of like, oh, I'm bigger, but I still have more energy than you. But it was all show, really. Yeah, it doesn't because matter. Because at the end, he it didn't have matter. that energy. They showed who the true champion. The fight was over. <clears throat> all we know is Uzik is the new champion. And before I mention like how uh, Roy Jones was uh, ranking the heavyweights, the top five, I want to share it. DAZN said they, they had a picture up and it was like, number one, they had uh, Fury. Number two, they had Joshua or it was the other two around. I don't remember. And then number three was Dylan White. Number four was Usyk. And number five was Ty uh, Deontay Wilder. Now, do you agree with that? No, not at all. What would you say your top five in those would, would be? Number one. Number one, Fury. Number two. Uh, Wilder. Number three. Usyk. Number four. Joshua. Number five. Would you even put Dylan White no, in that? No, not even in that quickly. Not even at all. Okay. So I agree with you. I agree with you on that one. Um, well, yeah, I guess before that fight, I might have put Joshua and then Usyk. But after that, I mean, obviously it's proven. No. It's, it's the other Joshua way around. To but, me, Joshua's never been a top ten. He just, he is a champion. He, he was a champion, yeah. but he was an Olympian too. But Klitschko was old. Yes. You know, he is lucky that his brother didn't come out of retirement because I think his brother would have beat him, even at that age. Yeah. You know? And, but Klitschko even dropped him. Yeah. And Klitschko did go down and he finished him. But at the same time, like you said, he was already at the end of his career. But that's a good name to have on your resume. Yeah. Just like all boxers, you built the resume. But as far as... Uh, what I was going to say about Roy Jones, I first off, let's talk about that. I always talk smack or like not really talk smack, but point out what I don't like about watching fights on DAZN sometimes. Um, but in this on this one, I'm glad that they welcomed Roy Jones yep. to talk to be part of the broadcast because it was more of like usually uh, when we tune into these fights and they're in the UK, we're used to hearing one sided just completely one-sided, biased po commentary. Yep. And it's like, I know we get that everywhere, like even in the U.S., but I don't know. It's not as harsh as it is out there. If they have every excuse to give their fighter for whatever it is. It's like, what? What? So to hear Roy Jones, it was just great to hear. He wasn't biased, in my opinion. He wasn't like, oh, USA, this is no, what. He no, wasn't. he wasn't. So when he heard the, the top five heavyweights, he, they asked him, you want to speak on behalf of America, basically. They said literally something like that. Like, do you want to speak for America? Yeah. And he's like, what? What? Okay, I, I guess. Whatever. I'm fine with it. Because Roy Jones, he said the facts. He said, number one, I would put Fury. Number two and three can go. He's like, I could switch them if I wanted to. But I would put Wilder and um, Joshua. And then I would put uh, Usyk and then... Um, What's his name? Dylan White. Dylan White. Dylan White. I don't know why they put him up there. Well, he was just mentioning the five that were on that list. So he said those. And then he was like, I'm not going to say that Wilder is my favorite. He's like, but basically he said, give credit where it's due. Say the facts like they are. You can't just put Joshua at the end. I mean, you can't put Wilder at the end just because whatever the reasons are. No, look at the resume. Look at the facts. Yeah. You know, he's had those fights with, with Fury that maybe made people question him. Yeah. Or even his fight with... Uh, what, what is his name? Ortiz. Ortiz. Luis Ortiz. Luis Ortiz. It's like that fight, you know, Wilder was hurt. Wilder was hurt, but Wilder is power. Like, he looks like a stick, but he is powerful. And powerful. what did he do? He turned it around, finished him, didn't leave it in the hands of the judges. Literally, like, lights out. You're yep, done. You're done. So if we go back and look at all that, it's like exactly like Roy Jones said. 
give credit where it's due. Like we were saying, Fury, Fury is not American. But why are you going to put Fury at the top? Oh, because of his resume. Oh, because he goes in there and gives you a show. Because he's so big and he's light on his feet. Because he knows how to box. Because he has actually beat these fighters. Look at when he fought Wilder. Yep. He went down. You thought it was all over. I was like, oh, man, he's not getting up from that. And what he did got he do? up. He like resurrected, got up, and finished the fight. It's like you... He did what just, Creed did in the movies. Just long story short, give credit where it's due. Yeah. Just like we say with the judges, when you call a bad fight, give credit where it's due. Yep. When you're talking about U.S. fighters, Mexican fighters, U.K., wherever in the world, if someone goes out there and they have that talent, you give them that credit. You don't say, oh, we got to put ours above because you we're here. You no. know, out of all these things that you're talking about, I think uh, Joshua is now regretting everything because when he was on top and Wilder was calling him out, he didn't do that big money fight. You know how much big money fight that would have been? Yeah. Now he lost that opportunity. I don't think he's going to get it back. I don't care what well, they say. He's not going to get it back. I think if he does get any of those fights back, let's say he, he gets in the ring with Wilder or he gets in the ring with Fury. He gets in the ring with Wilder, he'll get, get knocked out. He gets in the ring with Fury, he'll get knocked out. Yeah. All right? So I don't want to say he has a glass chin because he took some. He has like a... a if glass chin is like Amir Khan and then you have like a strong chin like Chavez or something. No, strong chin like, like Canelo. Give Canelo has a yeah, chin. Yeah, yeah, he does. But I'm saying like what comes to my mind right away yeah. is Chavez. Like I would put him... Here's the glass chin and here's not. I'd put him like right here. Like right here. Because it's like you touch his chin, he's going to touch the canvas. He'll get up, but he'll touch the you canvas and thinking? he comes back rocked a little bit. I'm thinking all this all this thing and White, Dylan White. I think Dylan White will knock out Joshua. Two yeah. British guys. But see, I have, I mean, Dylan White, I don't remember what exactly was found in his system, which is why if I was to see the heavyweight list, I would not put him so high on that top rank yeah, because heavyweight he, he did, list he did because find, they found an enhancement that he should have been taking. And that's why we saw Andy Ruiz come Step into in. the limelight and take advantage of his first opportunity. And he took advantage of Of that one, yeah. So it's like, that's, that's, that's one of the reasons why I would bring him down. If Wilder was caught on, you know, some, you know, enhancement, then I'd be like, no, bring him down because Obviously, he wasn't fighting clean. And so are those wins even, you know. Yeah, they shouldn't. There's real? a lot of there's a lot of young boxers you like that. It. The guy that's uh in the corner of uh Tyson Fury, I forgot his name, a young guy. He's knocking everybody out. He's yeah, a yeah. Heavy, he's a heavyweight. He's from Idaho or something like that, or the Midwest. Real good guy. I remember seeing him, but I can't think of his name right yeah, now. Yeah, he, he's gonna he's shocking the world. He's up there. Yeah. Well, another one that before we close this all out, because I feel like we already touched a lot about yes. this fight. Um one of the undercard fights was uh, Campbell Hatton, which is Ricky Hatton's son. Wow, that was a really, really... Oh, my gosh. Robbery of the year. Because embarrassing, embarrassing fight. I God. knew it. Like, well, you, you know, like you said, these British guys, they did whatever they wanted. They just gave him They just gave him that fight. He lost. And you know what? He they, lost clearly. That fight didn't even have judges. It and, was a referee. Yeah, that that's what I don't it. get here. Is it an amateur fight that you have to get a referee to do that? No, that that was disgrace. That should have been taken to the board. Whoever would sanction that and have that, reta- you know, the a no decision for that guy instead of a loss. So that guy, what was it? I forgot his name, but he came. He fought um, Campbell's. Uh, he fought a uh, Hatton. I think Hatton with a weak notice too. Yeah, he only had he had a short notice. He showed up. He took the fight. He didn't even have that many wins on his on his resume. And it showed like he went out there and he was like a journeyman. It, you could and see that. And he was giving he, a shot. He, he got him with uppercuts. He, got he him was the- tagging him. He was like picking his shots. He knew where he was going to go. He just picked him apart. Like if you were to see that fight and that and Hatton did not have the Hatton name. And let's say he was from a different part of the world that's not from the UK. They would have lost immediately. Easy. Been like, oh, man, you really didn't need judges for this fight. You know who won that. Eddie Hearn. Yeah, I think he's under your book there. Step up. You want always good fights and everything. And we love you because you got these Mexican guys. Don't turn into a Don King and get you these guys. Ooh. All right. Don't turn into a Don King, Eddie Hearn. Because that was bull crap. That kid <laughs> lost. Even, even Eddie Hearn knew it because You're he said. You're a promoter. Like- You're a promoter. Promote. Because everybody loves fighters. Promote all over the world. Don't promote just the British and say the British one. When, you know, like I said, don't be Don King. I'll give Eddie Hearn credit, though, because at the end, he said he, Campbell was lucky to get the get that decision. He said that. So he knows. He knows that it's wrong. That's just one of those that taints it. So, I mean, from now on, like Roy Jones had said, he's like, 
yeah, I mean, it, it hurts when something like this happens to you. But every time people see that guy's name, they're going to think... it's under DAZN and it's under Eddie Hearn. Yeah, but every time they see that this guy's name, they're going to say, that's the guy that beat Ricky Hatton's son. Yeah. That's the guy that beat him. Or when they see him, they'll be like, oh, yeah, he did. But there was a guy that actually beat him. They just gave it to it's him. Like, really, it's you know tainting. What? They, they, have, they have their own, like, Chavez Sr., Chavez Jr. They have their, their own, you know, like, Hatton Sr., Hatton Jr. The whole, you know, they gave the, uh, Chavez's son a lot like of Like, they want to build him. Yeah, but uh, Hatton, was an, <laughs> Hatton was great, but Ricky, little, little, Ricky yeah. The little Hatton's not going to do nothing. Yeah. It, but, like, see, people have also said, it's tough, or they've never really seen a great champion have a son that meets or surpasses his father. The legacy. There's only one. I have to admit, there's one. What are you going to say, Floyd? Yes. But his dad was his dad a champion? Uh, no, he was a he was a great fighter too. That's but what no. they're saying is like someone that has already like it's like Floyd. Floyd has already accomplished all this. It's like if one of his kids was to none go to boxing kids, and then none of his kids are boxers. I know, said, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but you know like, what? He said that none of my kids will. will or even yeah. like just any fighter. But that's why he said he fought for his legacy and he fought for his family, for his kids not having to do that if they didn't want to. So yeah. He, he took care of business. But that's what I'm saying. In any sport, yeah. it kind of seems like if you're if you if your dad has already reached the top and you know accomplished all this, it's hard for the next one to next generation meet to do it. Something. Because they already have the high it. expectations or exceed it. Exactly. Yep. But anyways, hopefully you guys tuned in. We saw the end new. We saw Usyk. If you doubted him, probably don't anymore. Nope. He's in that heavyweight division. And like Roy Jones said, he did kind of the same thing when Roy Jones moved up. And then he. he yeah, but you know, Roy Jones is not as big as his kid. No, I know. But Roy Jones even mentioned he was like, he kind of wanted to say that at the beginning when he was like, he's going into this fight and it's going to, you know, he, he's stepping up just like I did. You yep. know? It happens, and you can go out there and shock the world. He shocked basically. the world, and he might shock these other guys because Fury is a mover, bouncer, and everything. Yes, that one. But I don't. This kid could do the same thing to him. He could move. He could do this, and he yeah, could catch him. Yeah, but Fury him. might have an additional power. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? Oh yeah, he does. I, I like. One thing before we close it out, just to enlighten the mood, I thought it was funny. Is like before the fight, because you know how the UK loves to do these huge like end ring walks and yeah. stuff. Well. Uh, Eddie Hearn was on there and he was like he was talking and he said you know I just went to the to the locker room I just saw Joshua and he looks really confident you know he's calm he's ready and you know I don't I don't mean to say anything Usyk's a great fighter but I walked back there and he seemed a little a little bit nervous a little you know like basically he was trying to paint this picture that Usyk was scared in the back and he's like and he should I mean it's a different atmosphere and look at this and this is that and then at the end I'm like Eddie it's only been like an hour yeah you said all this. I didn't see him scared in there. You had a good champion. Uh, he gone. It's over. Joshua's reign is over. I'm I feel calling like it's it, kind of been. I'm calling it. His reign is over. He's not going to beat Uzik, and he won't beat Fury or Wilder. You know? So. All right, Joshua, if you're watching this, prove him wrong then. Yeah, prove me wrong. You were a great champion, and you were an Olympian. I'll give you that. That's a great honor right there. You know, you're representing your but country. But there's just so much competition in your division. In your division, there's a lot of lions out there. Yeah. And, you know, Wilder, I would have loved to have seen that fight with him. Like he said, he should have. He should, that would have been the money one. America versus Britain. Uh, you know, Fury's doing it, but Fury, Wilder had to get Fury to do it because Joshua was making excuses. Oh, this, oh no, this, that. Yeah, and that's the credit I'll give those two fighters is that they have fought each other have given us great fights where you're like on the edge of your seat and yet we're going to see a third one. And you know what? I give Fury credit. He didn't do it in England. He did it here in the States. Joshua makes, it, makes excuses or England, England, this, or, he did it here and everybody loved him after that. He did a fight, remember, where he got cut pretty bad? He came out with the, the Rocky movie Coming to America. Yeah, I'll give him credit. He, he brings it to him and he brings a good show that Man, he Fury won the, even shows up in a freaking sombrero yeah, and, 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 he, and Mexican mariachi and stuff he, uh, when it's close to a Mexican yeah, holiday. he showed that the, the Americans started to love him because he showed that he's a fighter and he's not scared. He'll fight anywhere in the world. Great, great champion, I think. Great All champion. Right, close it out. Lights out.